Okay, just brought this inside, wind up. Wound up just being exhausted yesterday after I got back. And uh, these are the two cabinets that came with the um, uh, machines, the white uh, 764 zigzag and the um, white vibrating shuttle, which I found out today, it looks like it's a vibrating shuttle three. But yeah, this is a really good condition cabinet. Um, this is one I felt okay with bringing inside upstairs, not going right into the basement. But um, yeah, this is a nice one that functions all good. Uh, let's, let's <laughs> I just move that back too, kind of dumb moment. Um, anyways, it opens up, everything's good. The belt's um, broken, so I don't know. I might try to oil it and uh, see if I can repair it, because it might actually repair. I was kind of even wondering too, it might be a little more nastier, kind of toxic option, sort of at first, at least until it cures. I was kind of wondering about like plastic dipping it. So, you know, repair it and then dip it in plastic dip. But yeah, she's uh, she's in good condition. She just, you know, needs to be dusted a little more. I dusted a little bit off her, but um, uh, yeah, she's uh, she's in good condition right there. And then side, those, those say white. So that's that's cool. This is, uh, I, I don't think it's a, I gotta look. It might be almost exact. Maybe it is the exact same one I have out in the garage. I think the white's different on that one. It seems like the drawers are a little different, but they are that delicate. This one seems a lot heavier duty um, wood. So uh, also came with um, the white attachment box and um, your typical, you know, attachments. I don't know if I'd ever use most of them, but um, still with that, similar to the rotaries, the um, top loader foot. So kind of, I doubt I'll modify this one. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this is me with the the bobbin. So I don't really know uh, the shuttle. I mean, actually, there's a bobbin in the shuttle. So four bobbins. Um, the shuttle. I don't know exactly if I, the Wikipedia article notes. There's an old Peerless design and a post-1900 newer. I can't tell the difference between the two. I don't know if there's um, markings, uh, pattern markings on the older version, which the image sort of looks like. If that's a, you know, the, the, the situation, then uh, this one doesn't have those markings. It's just a smooth finish. So, you know, there she is. She needs to be cleaned off a little more. She's in good condition. Um, I did do a little white wiping down because it was a little dusty, but um, otherwise, you know, she's she's running into stuff. No, she's yeah, she seems to be probably shouldn't be doing that with the thread in there. But completely get stuff stuck up. She's running smooth as is. I'm just like, wow. This is the white seven sixty eight. Same thing. Still to run in good condition. Um, Let's see, this one was wife's grandmother's, so it's been um, a neat rescue family heirloom. And then this one was um, the lady's mother's, who they're putting in a nursing home, so she really, they could use whatever. So it's a little more than I want to pay for. I paid 50 for this in the cabinet, but it's just perfect, you know, not perfect, but compared to my first white rotary in the same cabinet, or similar looking cabinet, um, yeah, looks good to go. <laughs> a little oiling, and she'll be stitching pretty soon. I'll have a video on her stitching next. Um, I'll probably do a video on widening the bobbin, but it looks, you know, those are pretty straightforward. Similar here, I'll, um, I think I'm going to go through and inspect the clean oil. This one was actually already really cleaned. I didn't really notice anything when I wiped it, wiped it down. Um, this came with a neat little case. It's kind of a cool case with some bobbins, so... Um, what that is? What's that say? Oh, you know, okay. Yeah, bag of bobbins, some other bobbins with thread on them. So I don't know what the thread is. I need to figure out. I used to probably put light it or something and see if it melts. I can tell if it's polyester kind. Um, some attachments, which some foot, feet I would actually use. So that's good. And another uh, rotary attachments. I don't. Oh, wait, one of these. Things. Might have utility, I don't know. Um, and then the manuals. This came with actual manual, so that's that's good. Um, I'll try to scan that. If that's not already uploaded online, I'll get that uploaded online. Oh, and I thought this was humorous. When I got back yesterday, I ordered this wash away wonder tape, and um, there's this huge box 
you know, at the front door, and I'm like, why, why did they use such a huge box? But I did find Joanne Fabrics. I stopped in on the Portage, um, the West Ridge Road one in Portage, and man, there is a lot of fabric in there. Just to go, you know, it's a little pricey, I think, um, but the resources they have there and the information, you know, is, you know, I guess that kind of is like cost a lot more. I could say priceless, but I don't want to say cliche, but definitely valuable. And what you can see, um, you know, hands on and feel, that's really, that's really beneficial also. A lot more than I expected there. So that's a really cool resource to have. Um, I'll also check out Michael's and Fields and the other stores I've not been into. I've only been into Hobby Lobby and Hobby Lobby doesn't have as much fabric. So, and when I was there, I wasn't really looking much for fabric, but yeah, so I'll get a video on this one, I'll get a video on this one, and um, yeah, there they are, so, serial number, and lighting, serial number, and tomorrow I pick up a white 77 for free, and then I'll message Miss uh, Katie Farmer for the dates on this one, and the other uh, machines I don't have a date for. Okay, well, you take care out there. Be safe. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions. I'm totally, like, practicing. <laughs> I don't know if I... I'm not really serious enough to do the YouTube channel like that. But um, I am serious about getting this information documented about these machines and what I can do to, you know, show others have a resource. If not, you know, it's just a sanity check. But it looks like it's more than me. People are watching, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I joined, I guess it's like sewing machine porn too. I joined a Reddit sewing machine porn group. So it's kind of funny. Okay, um, bye for now. See you later.